It's strange that neither one of you said me. No. <laughs> it is not strange. <laughs>series I like. <sighs> That's a really tough one because there's so many different moods you could be in, right? So you could be in like a sexy mood or like a ha 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 mood. A movie that I saw recently that's newer, it's a new film that I just loved so much was The Unbearable Weight of a Massive Talent. Um, I just... It was ridiculous, and I thought it was so funny. I loved it. <laughs> Everything about that movie was just like, what is happening? It was great. Holy moly. Oh, well, there's this really cool little show called Atlanta that I think <laughs> yes. And it's funny because this season they're in Europe, so if, you, if anybody wants to watch that. Really is. I agree. I'm really watching is. that. I'm that's, watching that's that. Like they should go it. see it, too. Donald Glover is amazing. I don't, I'm not familiar with the rest of the cast. Yeah, I get that. Incredible. I get that. I get that. Um, I just saw Austin Butler and Elvis. Did you see that? He, oh, that's he that. crushed yeah, it. Um, that, was, that was super fun. Hey, succession is something that I'm... I'm loved lately and I think it's you know sort of like the, the family drama and the dynamics of them are, are so interesting and palpable just fascinated by the drama and I know I'm maybe one of the only few because oh, no. Letter Kenny. Does anybody know Letter Kenny? I know Letter Kenny. The Canadian, yeah, right? I know that. And he just, they just did a spin-off Shorzy. Oh yeah, is it good? This is like the most intelligent lowbrow humor. <laughs> can, right. can you say that? You can. Can you say that? Look. Articulate, low brow. Yeah, it goes together. Okay, all right. Letter K, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Whoa. They had the really fights? Yeah. Oh. I don't know. If they were on a train, I think probably Brian would come out alive. I think I think Lemon would come out alive. Lemon is uh, Lemon's a fighter, and he's also so charming and funny. But that's what makes him dangerous because he'll get you when you're not looking. Aaron is an incredible athlete. I'm going. I'm going with Aaron. I don't do know. You? I don't think I'd survive. Right? <laughs> Aaron would not make it. I wouldn't. You know, mine's all front, man. And um, but you know, Brian is a he's a big guy, and uh, Brad is wily. Um, and is you know seasoned veteran, so I think that they all um, they all have an equal shot. You know, really? <laughs> I, I think I, it's I'm a dirty fighter. Yeah, I so think like, it's I, it's I, bad I'm boy. going to fuck them up. Yeah, <laughs> this, like, this my I, boy is I, I coming will, out. I will do anything to get out of there alive. Yeah. But we already know the knee is the Achilles heel. No, it's not. Going, no, go if right I just do everything with the knee back, you know what I mean, and it's just like. Thought about this, have you? I have. It's been, you got, so, the, you got so, the relentlessness. I say he's gonna claws. Way right to go for this. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I feel like, mm -mm. you know, I, I, I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> they, t they said tangerine? Yeah. I disagree. <laughs> it's strange that neither one of you said me. No. <laughs> it is not strange. <laughs> <laughs> and Brad's a master of character. When we came into making Ladybug, there was a lot of trust on both sides that we could just be speaking honest to each other about what we wanted and needed. And, um, and he came in with some brilliant ideas and, um, and I love to collaborate. And it was just a, it was a wonderful experience. After we did five movies together as actor and stuntman and our careers diverged, not by choice, it's just fate, it took us apart and we were doing our own thing. And like, as I started to get into the director chair, um, I had no idea he was really paying attention to my career, and so when we came back together for the cameo on Deadpool 2, he was like really complimentary of John Wick and Atomic Blonde and some of my work, and I was like, you've been watching? <laughs> and it felt really good and it was really special. My first flavor of Brad, however, was in a little movie I, called. I, 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 I should not. I, I first. I should not say. I should stop saying flavor, flavor of Brad. Really? <laughs> <laughs> was in this I, movie. I had an upset. <laughs> it was, I, it was I, worth it. It was worth shit. every penny. Uh, uh, True Romance. I remember him on this couch playing the stoner. And true romance, yeah. and like you just had that moment that was just like really funny, and like he's just so grounded in everything he does. But I was like, there's an element of truth to this character, though. Like well, this it's was amazing, and I've never, <laughs> I've never smoked weed in my entire really? life. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, Brad, <laughs> it was like, just, right? I was like, amazing. oh man, I want to carry this guy. <laughs> it's good, right? It's, it's really, really good. good. Yeah, yeah. No, you just man, bong never. or um, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, never no, tried to ever. Show me how to mm. use it. You're like, oh, what is this? Paper that I, I don't like this. <laughs> yeah, 
I was pretty proud of that, that it's, an ori it's original material. That's always fun when you can start from something fresh like that. Well, I mean, I think all of that was scary because, you know, you look at the, the movies that live in the summer space are all um, these superhero movies, like you said, or sequels. And, um, but I think it's important. And I'm so glad that Sony, you know, Tom Rothman and Sanford Panich and our executive, Brittany Morrissey, really came to the table and said, no, this is, we're gonna go for it because cinema needs it. We need to like sort of now spread our wings and that COVID's gone and like see that people wanna come back to the box office and see these original content and this scale. This movie belongs on a big screen, and I'm so excited for people to see it that way. Well, how would we describe it? What? Comedy, action. Yeah. Action, it's comedy. It's a David Leach movie, a summer blockbuster with mm. full action and no. comedy. It's like a rom-com, too, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> between there, these there's, two. There's, 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 there's a romance that goes on between, like, us caring about how we kill each other. There's so many movies that, being that we're here in Paris, I think, um, you know, The Professional is such an important movie in, early on in sort of my career, and I think you can see echoes in the John Wick world from that. Um, I just loved how Luc Besson took that character, who is obviously a sociopath and a cold, heartless killer, but found his humanity. And then I strive to do that with all the characters that I make, you know, like John Wick or Lorraine Broughton or even Deadpool's an assassin, but like, you know, in, the, in my sequel, he's really um, a huge beating heart. I'm up. I always try to do that. Ladybug is no different. Well, I've, I've been familiar with both their work for some time, and it was, I think, a testament to the writing that it drew so many quality actors because everyone had, you know, their own, their own corner to hold up. I jumped on and quickly saw a tape of Aaron, and when we saw Aaron, we knew this thing, this thing works, and. Brian had been in a production of, I've been a fan following Brian for a while because he's so diverse as well and does, you know, like intense drama to heavy to, to sublime comedy. So when we, 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 we kind of felt like, we who were in there early felt like we, we, we really scored with these guys, with all, the, all our cast, it's, it's phenomenal. Yes, absolutely. And not to mention the great Michael Shannon too. You don't even, like, your brain can't process it. I think that, I shot with them for months and we're, you know, years later on this press tour and I still haven't fully absorbed the fact that I got to do a movie with them and that these people, I get to call them my co-stars, my peers. Um, I'm just so grateful, like, you know, this is what you always dream of and you hope you get to do something like this. Um, and I really, I couldn't be more thankful that I got the opportunity to be in this movie. Hi. I think that, first of all, David's movies are so legendary and so fun to watch, and he's just, like, everything he does is great. I think that if you are a huge action fan and a David Leach fan, you should definitely marathon. But if you're someone who's just like, what's this movie about? I don't know anything about the director or the cast or anything, I think you're gonna enjoy it too. That's the thing, it's for everyone. It really is, it's not just for people who love action. It's, it's so funny, it's so, like, out there with comedy and style that I think that no matter what kind of movies you're into, if you're a huge Leech fan or not, you're gonna absolutely love this movie. But I mean, I'm gonna be binging Leech's movies before I go see this in theaters with my family. <laughs> it, that's what we kind of went into it with, like to have fun because we were in our own bubbles during the pandemic and then we got to come to this set and then create this. So, you know, you're gonna feel that when you watch the movie, the joy that we have when we made it.